One time, inshallah, we will recite the weird of the awliya by beloved Sheikh Sufi Ba this evening, inshallah. As-salamu alaykum wa tuullah. Barakatuhu, Jumal Mubarak, to the family of light, inshallah. Astaghfirullah. Bihi. Udu bilahi minah shaitan al-rajim. La hawla wa la kuwata la bilahi wa khwal ali ala deem. Allahumma salli wa sallam wa barik ala Sayyidina wa malana Muhammadin wa alihi wa sa'bihi wa taqaba wa minili wa jikal karimi ka uli ta'iban ilay kubi astaghfirullah bihi astaghfirullah ala deem wa tu ilayhi min zawaharin wa min gayu astaghfirullah ala deem wa tu ilayhi min zawaharin wa min gayu Sa'altuhu bahaki wa jalilahi Maghfiritan min jumla til manayi Tuktu la'u min jumla til saga'iri Ma'al kaba'iri wa min dama'iri Ka'firu lipfiru kuli ma takadama Wa ma ta'akhra wa ma abayna huma Fahimni al-ilma wa zinni ilma Wa amalan wa adaban wa fa'ma Rabi alikshi filu wa ma nafia Wa jal ayati min shaka imaniya Ikshif liya al-sra wa walga wa mida. Ilkaira man kashifa siran ga mida. Ishma jamiya ma tafira kalada. Kati min al-kali wa safi al-kalada. Li kulada tafakur il azamaya. Ra bibi kun wa tasi man kalamiya. Habliya ya akram u fit talawa. Kairan katiran min kawal halawa. Barik liya lahuma fi hayati. Wa jal fuwadi wa tina hayati. Abli akawni besha kuli manyatu Waliza wahira abin ma algayu Kabu na nakunu bihi Ta'ila mena zanubi wa ma'asi Wa lafati wa hatal adku la janata Lati wu ida muta kundi rahmatika Ya Rahmanu ya Rahimu Bismillah Rahmani Rahim Astaghfirullah, 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 Stock for a loss, 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 stock for a loss. Stock for a la, 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 
Stuck for a loud, 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 stuck for a loud. Stuck for a loud, 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 stuck for a loud. Spilar up men are him with Aulia. Shek Sufi Ba, Hadia Shek Sufi Ba, Hadia Shek Zulu, Hadia Serene Kadin Gadel Low, Did a Jeff Serene Sally Who, Baki. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, stuck for la la dee ma la dee. La ilaha illa hu wa hail kayyum wa tuba lay. Stuck for la la dee ma la dee. La ilaha illa hu wa hail kayyum wa tuba lay. Stuck for la la dee ma la dee. La ilaha illa hu wa hail kayyum wa tuba lay. We want to read the ones with the translation for everyone, inshallah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, one more time. Stuck for la la dee ma la dee. La ilaha illahu al hayul kayyum wa tubalay. Bismillah, we seek the forgiveness of Allah, the mighty, whom there is none worthy of worship except him, the living and the self sustaining, and we turn to him in repentance. Bismillah, salatu fati, one time, inshallah. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad al Fatihi lima ublika wal katimi lima sabaka. Nasir al Haki bil Haki will hide the Elas Ratika Mustakim, while Ali he Haka Kadri he, while Migdali Aladi, Miss Milara Menorahim, or Allah send prayers and peace upon our master Muhammad, peace be upon him, the open of that which was closed, the seal of that which came before, the helper of the truth with the truth, and the guide to the straight path upon his family and friends, and to the extent of his magnanimous rank. Nineteen Miss Milara Menorahims. In the name of Allah, the most gracious and merciful. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. 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 Bismillahi Rahmani Rahim. Audhu billahi minay shaitani rajim. La hawla wa la kuwata. Ila billahi wa khuwal ali al adhim. Bismillah, we seek refuge from the accursed shaitan. There is no power or ability except with Allah, the most high and the most mighty. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Sallallahu ala Muhammad. Seven ayatul kursis, inshallah. Allahu la ilaha bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allahu la ilaha illahu wa hayul kayyum. La takutu hu sina tum wa lana um. Allahu ma fi samawati wa ma fi al-art. Banda la di yashfa'u inda hu ila bi itnihi yalamu. Ma bayna aydihim wa ma kalfahum wa la yuhitun. La bi shayn min ilmihi la bi ma sha. Wa siya kursi yuhu samawati wa al-art. Wa la yautu hu hiptu hu ma. Wahual al Yaladi, Miss Mila Menorim, Allahu la ilaha ilahu al Hayal Kayum. La taku to who see Natum Malan Naum. La huma fi Samawati, the mouthful art. Mandaladi Yashfau in the who we la be it ni he ya la mu. Ma bena idi him a makal for whom la you he tun. Nabi shame mean ill me he la be masha. Wasia curse you who Samawati will art. Walaya utu it. Huma wahuala lila di mami, Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Allahu la ilaha ilahu al hayul kayum, la takutu hu si natumula naum, la uma fi samawati wa mafil art, benda la di ashfau in the hui labi it nehi ya lamu, ma bena aide him wa makal for whom la you he tun, nabi shame in il me he labi masha, awasia, curse you who samawati wa art, walaya utu hu he tuma. Wahu ala yala di ma min bismillah rahman rahim la ula ilaha ilahu al hayal kayum la taqutu husi natum la naum 
lahu ma fi samawati wa ma fil ard man da ladhi yashfa'u inda hu illa bi idnihi yalamu ma bayna aydihi wa ma kafahum wa la yuhitun na bi shay'in min ilmihi illa bi ma sha asya kursiyuhu samawati wal ard wa la yaudu hitu ma wa huwa al ali radhim bismillahir rahmanir rahim allahu la ilaha illa huwa hayyul qayyum la taqutu hu sinatun wa la naum lahu ma fi samawati wa ma fil ard man alladhi yashfa'u innahu illa bi idnihi yalamu ma bayna aydihi wa ma kafahum wa la yuhitun na bi shay'in min ilmihi illa bi ma sha asya kursiyuhu samawati wal ard wala yautuhu ituma wa huwa al yaladin bismillahir rahmanir rahim allahu la ilaha illa huwa al hayyul qayyum la taqutuhu sinatun wa la naum lahu ma fi samawati wa ma fil ard man alladhi yashfa'u indahu illa bi itnihi yalamu ma bayna aydihi wa ma kafahu wa la yuhitu na bi shay'in min ilmihi illa bi ma sha wasya kursi hu samawati wal ard wala yahutuhu hituhuma wa huwa la ladhi ma bi bismillahir rahmanir rahim allah there is no deity except him the ever living the sustainer of all existence neither drowsiness nor sleep overtake him to him belongs whatever is in the heavens and whatever is on the, in the earth stakfula who is it that can intercede with him except by his permission he knows what is presently before them and what will be after them and they encompass not a thing of his knowledge except for what he wills bismillah his curse a footstool extends over the heavens and the earth and their preservation tires him not and he is the most high and most great bismillah ar rahman ar rahim subhanallah 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 glory to allah Alhamdulillah, 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 Alhamdulillah. All praises be to Allah. Allahu Akbar, 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 Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar 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 Allah Allahu Akbar. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allah is the greatest, greater, greatest, greater than anything, all things, everything. Allah is greater. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. La ilaha illa, la ilaha illa lahu, wa tuhu la shurika lahu, lahu muku, wa lahu hamdu, wa huwa ala kuli shayn kadir. Bismillah, there is no God except Allah. He is the one having no partner with him. Sovereignty belongs to him. All praise belongs to him. He is the all powerful and omnipotent. Bismillah ar-Rahim. La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasul. La kaf ha ya ayn sod. Kaf ha ya ayn sod. Kaf ha ya ayn sod. 
kufitu kuladarari nilahu bisiri la ilaha ilalahu abli muradiya kama wahu bisiri la ilaha ilalahu ya siri al usra kama wahu bisiri la ilaha ilalahu Allah nabi al mustafi ilalahu salibi la ilaha ilalahu salatan mugnin bi salam alahi bisiri la ilaha ilalahu umur salatu fati Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Oh, we didn't. Let's talk for Allah. Allah has, Bismillah, kufitu. Allah has removed all harmful things for me by the secrets of la ilaha illallahu. Allah has given me everything I want, how I want it, by the secrets in la ilaha illallahu. Make ease for me all difficulties how I wish by the secrets in la ilaha illallahu. Upon the chosen prophet, peace be upon him, the highest prayers and blessings by the secrets in la ilaha illallahu. And send prayers of richness and peace upon him by the secrets in La Ilaha Illallahu Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad al Fatihi Lima Uglika wa Katimi Lima Sabaka Na Sri Al Haki Bil Haki Wal Hadi Ila Suratika Al Mustaqim Wa Ala Alhi Aka Kadrihi Wa Migdari Aladi Bismillah Rahman Rahim Supan Rabbika Bilizati Miyasifun Salamun Ala Mursalim Alhamdulillah Rabbi Al Alameen Glorified, exalted is our Lord, the Lord of power and might above all that they can ascribe to him. Peace be upon the messengers and all praise be to Allah, the Lord and sustainer of all the worlds. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Barakay serene salihu. 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 You know, Rabbi Rahim, stuck for law, stuck for law, stuck for law. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa noor. Juma Mubarak to the beloved, beautiful family of light this evening. We pray everyone is well. Alaikum salam wa Juma Mubarak. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Alaikum. family, family, family. We are, we have family. We have family as our guest here today. Without further ado, we are going to introduce our beloved brother, Sheikh Sincere, out of Wilson, NC. We thank you, Sheikh, for being available for us this evening and giving us a dialogue on our, our past, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa The floor is yours, Sheikh, inshallah. Well, what I like to say from the beginning is how sweet it is to be in association with God conscious people. That alone can raise a person's station. If we would seek out um, spiritual individuals who, whose favorite pastime is processing their understanding of their Lord and conversating with those like-minded individuals. Um, it's enough motivation and inspiration to fuel your everyday practice on this dean. And um, I would like to, you know, say also before I start that if we would but contemplate the station of our sheikh, it would raise our station. The sheikh, so to speak, has the keys to our heart. His teachings, the weirds, a lot of the teachings are, you know, I lack understanding on, but like uh, the sheikh always said, a master is a master of the basics. So, um, there is a, a piece of scripture from the Upanishads that says the self and man and in the sun are one. Those who understand this see through the world and go beyond the various sheaths of being to realize the unity of life. <clears throat> and um, also... Um, there was, um, I don't, I'm not familiar with this this lady, but this is a good book called Secrets of the Divine Love. And I'm, I, I kind of think the lady is Sufi. Her name is A. 
I can't really pronounce her name, but um, she said that we are all born with spiritual wings. Islam simply reminds us how to fly. Um, and it was said in a West African saying, you know, that a sheikh said that a heavy bird cannot fly. Um, it's imperative when we are addressing the nafs. Um, it's imperative to continue to, no matter what station we find ourselves in, to continue to offer our devotion to Allah continually and to be around those individuals whose ultimate goal is to become one in action, word, deed, and even in essence with Allah. And that's a power that's not really shown in the West as far as the power of one's character to transform one's environment simply by working on oneself. That alchemy has the power to transform your immediate surroundings. Those individuals that are befuddled in ignorance because of the energy output from your discipline practice, from you, from your intentions of walking your deen, you know, every day to the best of your ability, knowing that it's not only our effort that raises our station, but it's God's grace and mercy. But we have to continue to do our part. We have to push ourselves. We have to take a hold of our gin and make him submit to Allah. I can speak for myself a lot. I still have a lot of unrightness from an ego standpoint. And as I continue to practice zikr, uh, to learn more about Islam, to read the book of light more and apply those things that I think I understand, you know, with the help of Allah, I see improvement in my life and my children's life, and my family's life, and some close friend's life. A lot of our traveling, so to speak, within ourselves gets expressed on this plane through our character. And, you know, I had intended on just speaking on the animal self, Nafs al Hayawaniya. I can't really pronounce that word, but I was going to speak on the, the animal self because the times that we're living in, what keeps us from traveling in a, co a correct manner interiorly is our lack of devotional practices. Our attention is not single-minded and not one-pointed, at least myself, most of the time. So I may not see the results I want to see. And I'm starting to gain an understanding that the more I deny who I think I am, as far as what I think needs to happen with my life and the, um, the improvements that I think I need to, to make, as I read more and, and humble myself more and gain understanding, into my life as far as my actions, my speech, and even my prayer life. Um, everything should be directed towards Allah. Um, even at at one's job, you know, we I have we have individuals that come to work and they complain about being there, but they want the money. Before I go into a job, I offer all of my actions, all of my labor to God. So I'm worshiping God while I'm on the clock. Everything I'm doing, you know, that's good is coming from him. So I'm worshiping him in the manner in which I work. Also strengthening my character because hard work makes a strong character. 
So it's really the simple things that will elevate one spiritually. A lot of times we mistake relative knowledge, speculative knowledge, and theoretical knowledge for experience. And I would rather experience more knowledge than spout a lot of rhetoric on things that I have not personally experienced. All I know how to do is to take the plow and plow the field of my heart and sow the seeds through zikr, you know, plant those seeds of light. So, you know, I would, you know, remind everyone, you know, that to mortify their passions, to, you know, practice self-control consistently, to appraise oneself, you know, to remember that a lot of people right now are not going to be on this path because it requires uh, as a sincere intention and effort and most of all God's grace so I don't have a lot of eloquent things to say I learned you know to say the physical heart I think you say kalb, but I like the term latifa you know the subtle heart the spiritual heart even though it still has a connection on this physical plane but um, I would just encourage everyone to really listen to the teachings of the sheikhs and apply them in your life, and you will see results. Those things that we are warned to stay away from, if we would devote our full attention to God, those gifts, those psychic powers, so to speak, will naturally blossom. It's when we try to harness them, when we try to be God, so to speak, you know, to take away from the oneness, associate partners by our arrogance and condescending manner to Allah. That's when those powers, so to speak, take us over. But as you begin to purify your heart, you will begin to see more and perceive more and interact more on different planes and dimensions within yourself. There are so many portals, so many veils, so many spaces in which entities, I, I will say, a stock for the law, within oneself. And I think that in the time that we live, we should be fully exploring our capacity to unite with our Lord. And we have to watch out for the animal self and the satanic self, the nas el iblisia. So, you know, I recommend because I practice, you know, if I don't practice anything else, I practice zikr. And um, it was um, a holy man who said, whoever can sincerely weep at the name, the recitation of the name of God has taken their last birth. I know that each breath is a new birth and each exhale is a death. So we live and die a myriad of times in a day. But I would say that we're in a time that we should totally divert our attention to Allah and his way. Like I said, I don't really have anything profound to say. I will just reiterate that spiritually, you know, we are butterflies. And a lot of times we're going to have to get comfortable in our cocoon. Because it's self-imposed. It's our own ignorance that causes our suffering. But through this suffering, Allah is so merciful. Through the alchemical process, this suffering 
It's turned into irrepressible joy and a testimony to those who are trying to wake up and realize the things we know in our heart to be true. So, you know, I would say continue to um, further on the path. There's another saying that says a drop of rain can fall into the mouth of a seashell or a snake. But in the seashell, it is turned into a pearl. And in the snake, it is turned into poison. Let us keep our intentions pure towards Allah and give our best effort because I feel this body or spacesuit we have is only meant to serve God through the way we serve each other. And a lot of power, even psychic power, is expressed in the way we treat one another, the compassion and empathy we're able to naturally feel for one another, knowing that there isn't another that there is only one. God is the only thing that exists. And to dishonor his creation is to dishonor him. So, you know, let us immerse ourselves in the mercies of Allah by realizing nothing really belongs to us and everything belongs to him. And in that, lies our true power. Nothing exists except God. And um, I don't know if there is going to be, you know, another speaker after me, but if anyone has any questions, I'm willing to answer, you know, any questions. But I mean, that's the totality, you know, of my message. I just wanted to speak from the heart because at the end of the day, Allah takes note of our effort. Allah takes note of our character. There is nowhere we can look. There is nowhere we can turn where Allah is not. So, you know, it's imperative upon us to just follow our heart and anything we really desire, the true nature that we desire in our heart will be fulfilled if we would but devote ourselves to Allah every day, whether we feel good or we feel bad, offer everything, ourselves, our lives, and, you know, know that with our effort, there's nothing really we can do, you know, to compare to the mercy, you know, of Allah. But I would just, you know, beseech the Dara to continue to shine that light for we're just rays of light. Continue to shine those rays, you know, what Allah has revealed for you to do in that manner. Continue, you know, to pray and seek refuge in Allah. But if there are any questions, you know, um, that's it. That's the only, that's it. That's the only message that I have is practice, practice, practice. Dive deeply within yourself. Zikr until you fall asleep and you wake up and your hands still moving on your prayer beads, zikring while you're resting soundly. Plow this body. Know that it's here to serve God first and then to serve your family and then to serve your community. Your power will be shown in your character and how you are able to see your heart and the heart of those around you. This is all I have. You're free to ask questions or, you know, um, move to the next speaker. Thank you for this time. And it's always a joy. Like ambrosia is sweet like manna from heaven to be associated with such high vibratory people. Assalamu alaikum, Shaykh. Assalamu alaikum, brother. Mm. 
beautiful, beautiful message. So I was pondering when you spoke on that first station of the soul that from many other perspectives or, or schools of thought, like the chakra system or any other uh, uh, school of thought that has these seven successive stages, is the uh, is the essence of the person or that that ego still about the same at that first chakra and similar practices used to raise it up? It seems like well, it's universal. It, well, it is said that even in its lowest state, that it remembers la ilaha illallah, that there is no god but God. It's just a state that has to be balanced. If you sincerely zikr. Um, it will naturally begin to cleanse and polish um, that station, you know, and that, that place because we, we have to travel. We can't skip, you know, no station. We have to, you know, travel. And I personally believe you can focus on one and cleanse the rest of them because I just practice and I've been practicing for years just on the heart chakra. And, um, you know, when I practice my zikr, I always focus my attention on my heart chakra or, you know, the center of my chest. Some people, when they, you know, practice zikr, they maybe um, focus their consciousness in their ajna chakra or their third eye or the god eye. Uh, some Asian friends of mine, um, they they put their attention in their abdomen area which they call the lower dantian no matter where you start um there is no you know cheat code so to speak you're gonna have to address you know all all levels i feel i hope that answered your question Indeed, indeed, you should cry and shake. What? But, um, yeah, I mean, those, the, the physical practices is where I excelled because that's where I was lazy. Um, when I started looking at the shake, the shake said, if you, you've given a plate of food, if it can feed one, it can feed two. So I started having my food, you know, like taking that teaching seriously. So, you know, I would eat half and, you know, exercise and read scripture and pray and make that a routine. Like there are times when you have the available hours to have a mini retreat and you don't have to leave your home. You may just have to section those spiritual practices in increments but you do them deeply not worrying that you're you know not at somewhere pleasant your home becomes a place of pilgrimage because your practices is giving you a new light of awareness through your process seeing of your surroundings So, you know, I, I gained more understanding, you know, around my home. And they, and it said that Lao Tzu said that, you know, you can know the whole world, you know, without leaving your doorstep. So I'm starting to see some relevance in the statement. I mean, I mean, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, teaches us not to make our houses into a graveyard, meaning don't just go to sleep and drop your dead body there and go travel off in the dream world, make sure you do your prayers and zikr and then salat in that house too to build that, that energy up. That's truth. Ed. How we, you know, clean our home and how we dispense the chores to maintain our home, we should appraise our inner self in the same fashion. And I find that the home for me, you know, considering myself a yogi Sufi, so to speak, or a Sufi yogi, I don't care which one is in front because I really believe it's the same thing. But, you know, um, I'm a householder, meaning I have a family. I have a big family and I have to find time to dive deep when I have time 
in these spiritual practices. But I find that everyday life, everything you do from washing the dishes to sweeping the floor to raking the yard to exercising to driving your car can be a form of worship if it's done consciously, even walking. There is no time for a friend or a person longing to be a friend of God. There is nothing that he, everything is an act of worship when done consciously. There is no time where you're not worshiping. There is no time where you're not surrendering. There is no time when you're not changing your perception, expanding your consciousness and restricting it from the fluctuations that keep one distracted. You know, that's how, you know, I feel every movement, you know, um, becomes worship. And I find sometimes just walking down the street, you know, listening to music that exalts God, it's hard not to break down crying. I like to feel like a tough guy and I live by highway. So I don't want people driving by seeing me weep because I can't stand someone repeating the name of God. If we're not willing to be intoxicated, then Sufism is not the path. A stock for the lie. I'm I'm not, you know, no, you know, divine master. I just know that my shake said a master is a master of the basics. And every time I ever been around them or and was blessed to experience his presence, this man was always writing the weird, reciting the weird, uh uh zickering. And no matter what was really going on and could maintain a level of consciousness in which he could dialogue with his disciples, with his Taliban's compassionately and not skip a beat in his spiritual practice. Our master is a man of power. But um, if there are, you know, aren't any more, you know, uh, questions, I, you know, that's it for me because I can continue, you know, you know, um, speaking in this manner because that's all there is you know like rabia you know i i want to carry you know uh my little uh stick on fire and a pail of water yelling in my town at everybody you know i will a stock for the lie but um just keep that fire steady motivation you know make it bright and you know large but sometimes we're gonna wake up we're not gonna be motivated we're not gonna be inspired but one thing about discipline it doesn't depend on motivation or inspiration that fire will stay lit as long as you work it regardless of how you feel you can be sick and on your deathbed and discipline will not leave it works if you work it So instead of always longing for an expression of God's comfortable love, step in the fire and be refined. Let's not speculate and theorize about the alchemical process. Let's step in the fire. Let's look in our heart and look at the abru abuse, the trauma, the PTSD, the... uh whatever we have going on embrace the shadow because the light in you is so strong there is no shadow we're not afraid of our darkness we're afraid of god's most powerful light within our heart we can't even approach his majesty in our heart but everybody is ready to leave this earth and be in heaven or is afraid of eternal damnation well, they should be afraid of eternal damnation because we are too greedy. We Anything the eye see that's pleasant, the body moves towards. Anything the ear hears that is pleasant, the body moves towards. Anything the nose smells that is pleasant, 
the body moves towards. We have to, we have to rein in these horses. I know it looks cool for social media to let your horses run free, to speak what's on your mind, to give everybody your bottom to kiss. And it seems weak to be compassionate, empathetic, and loving, despite the harsh realities of life. But there is an untold reservoir of strength and seeming socially weak being laughed at because of your dress, being called strange because you keep those beads in your hand, uh, being laughed at because you wrap your head, not understanding that naturally we are a stock for the law. I, don't, I, I just believe... Insan Camille is within the heart of all of us if we would just practice consistently to empty ourselves, to allow God to fill us with his grace. And if we remember the simple things like we remember our pronunciations of foreign languages, I say foreign because they haven't entered the heart yet, not because it's not a part of our cultural identity. I'm talking about the heart identity. Knowing that whatever language you speak, that if it's pure, the intention is pure, that there is a language that can't be spoken in your intention that is more powerful than any language on this planet, a stock for the law. We have to start praying with the heart and working with this body, I advocate yoga for those who are able. And if you and if you can't practice yoga, I definitely advocate making salat during those de designated times because I don't know if people understand those are certain energetic positionings that does things for your body that the mind in this present state of befuddleness cannot perceive. That that prayer. That Fatiha is sometimes the closest thing to union on this planet that we'll ever get to. And when one is not tight physically and one effortlessly perform those rakas, it's yoga. It's Hatha yoga. It's Ashanga yoga. It's Raj yoga. It's yoga. It's Bhakti. All of these things are within the book of light. And the more I look at it, you know, at a verse, uh, I'm j I am befuddled and I acknowledge and realize my ignorance before a lot. I could, you know, a, a, a verse would blow my mind. You know, I would be out here in my town, my town trips. When I trip out, I trip out like Ram Krishna. A Sri Ramakrishna, you know, he might have been jumping from tree to tree because he thought he was Hanuman. I get intoxicated, I got to move. Sometimes I walk from my house reading a book, and I'm not advocating doing this, crossing the highway without looking at the cars, continuing to read the book and obey the traffic signs and ordinances of the city and still be engulfed while I'm walking in a holy book. And it's an exercise for me that I've done it on the regular. We have a reservoir of consciousness within ourselves that can be accessed through sincere zikr. It's a reason why there are teachers that keep telling you to stay away from those powers because if you did and 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 we kept that energy that Ramadan gives us then everything would come down we wouldn't have to spray paint nothing we wouldn't have to grab a sludge hammer and knock a building down we wouldn't have to uh storm anywhere you you could vibrate on a level that anything that is unreal and unnatural that causes suffering we could consciously and collectively bring it down just by 
sincerely utilizing the alchemical process on ourselves. So no matter what philosophy we identify with, remember that everything that is good is meant to lead us to God. Let us not get tricked up in the, inc the intricacies of philosophy where it makes our heart hard, where we can't heal and make it a, a habitat, a kingdom, a temple for the most high God. We have to heal. That power can't sit in the hurt. That hurt will destroy us as a person. This is why it said that the prophet said, and I'm going to go ahead and say a stock for the law and peace be upon them. It is said that the prophet said that the best among you had the best character. And I'm paraphrasing and please forgive me. But it's something like that. Not knowing that there is energetic power to influence, to acquire the things that you want just by perfecting your character. There is power in that. That's not weakness. People are not just going to take advantage of you. That's the ego talking because it does not want you to realize your true power. We are so powerful that this society is designed to keep us weak from the fast food, from the different movies that only exploit the aggression or the aggressive tendency that we have, the tendency of Differentiation, the tendencies of lack of spiritual discrimination. It keeps us twisting the definition of what is really weak and what is really strong. If you really want strength, you have to become weak and acknowledge that we are caterpillars and that this feeble grass we're eating are the scriptures we're reading. And when we really become powerful, we take all that life has taught us and we build a space like a cocoon around us so that we have a space to mature and what's the word metamorphosize, you know, within the dark interior space of your heart. And you're physically, you will begin to express this energy, your skin might get lighter. You might be talking to individuals and cutting their conversations off because you can hear the interior dialogue. You may just not can express it to them verbally in a way that they can recognize their own thoughts. Sometimes it's not that you're not mind reading. It's just that some people cannot recognize their thoughts. So you tend to diminish your gift because a person has not processed themselves. We need a manual on these things. I've seen just a little bit, but it was enough to blow my mind. And we have to stop looking for people to be what we want them to be. And we have to be what we want to see. If you want to experience the impossible in your life, you have to be the impossible. And that takes consistency. And when the hardships come, you got to say in a stock for the law. But I have to use uh, one of the Greek philosophers from Stoicism. They, When life start kicking you in the, you know what? You say, amor fati, meaning I love it. That's all you got? I'm journeying within myself through these levels. I will not be stopped by anything. Nature teaches you when you watch predators in the wild, there may be other animals trying to alert um, the other animals of that predator's presence, but that predator has to maintain the state of mind that it wants to accomplish its goal because it's really survival. It has to eat. And spiritually, we have to eat. If you're on that, you are spiritual aspiring and you're trying to become a Wali. Zikr before you eat. Fatiha before you eat. Rakaz before you eat. And even when you eat, 
weep and say, Lord, this is an offering to you for this body so that I can serve you, serve my family, and serve my community. And may my actions reflect your divine knowledge, mercy, and grace. So, you know, I just, you know, pray that we stay inspired, but know that we don't lean on inspiration. We don't lean on motivation. If you waking up every day to be motivated, then I'm, I'm going to tell you that you are still a baby. You're still a suckling and you're not sucking from the divine mother. You're sucking from the ways of the world and you're confusing spiritual practices with gratifying your ego. Serve God when you don't feel like it. Serve God when you're not inspired. Serve God when you're not motivated. Serve God when you're depressed. Serve God when you're angry. Serve God when you're delusional. In everything you do, you serve God and you serve God consistently with the purest of intentions. It's not about us because in actuality, there is no us. And everything that I thought I was saying that has been intellectually stimulating has been foolishness because the ultimate goal is not mine, but thine. Are there any questions? Thank you, brother. My, I had to catch up on, you know, my um, Arabic. So you have to forgive me. That's why I'm speaking a lot of English. But Islam is in my heart. And, you know, whatever we do, brothers and sisters, like beings, because Sometimes these images in which, you know, we must, I'm not going to say we mistake to be certain universal laws, but what I'm saying is the love of God transcends for the human being from everything. Your love for God is what kicks open the door. Your practice is only the knocking. It's your love that refuses not to be seen. Cultivate your fire for God within yourself and fear will start to diminish and even the idea of, even the idea of death depending upon one's station, becomes a laughable subject. And there, there are oases, forgive my, um, there are places of spiritual pleasure within the heart waiting for you to access them through your sadhana, through the way you walk the dean, you have to engage. Our Jonah didn't want to fight on the battlefield. We have to fight and we have to know the field and we have to use strategy. And most of all, we have to prepare. This fight is only for the love of God. If you're fighting for any other reason, a stock for the law, that is not for me to say. I feel that this fight, this jihad, individual jihad, is for the love of God. Everything else is a manifestation of a lower vibratory frequency that cannot exist with our own. But we should not be entrapped by the murky ethers, so to speak. 
we, through the love and devotional practices, through the courage and fortitude that Allah gives us, we can break through. Another Greek said that he may have taken from Africa, but he said, physician, heal yourself. Practice, practice, practice. There is nothing else. After a while, you will see that practice is worship. Everything is worship, but we have to become conscious. And I'm just thankful to you, brothers and sisters, for allowing me to rant about God. My daughter is sitting beside me and she's getting agitated after a few hours of work. So if there are not any more questions, I'm going to have to uh, dismiss myself, which I kind of don't want to. But um, I have to do my householder duties. Thank you for this opportunity. And I hope to speak with a lot of you, you know, not just in a setting like this, but uh, uh, personally, because we should uplift one another. We should encourage one another. We should do things that would inspire one another. Because the more we are selfless, the more powerful we really are. And that's a principle rather used positively or negatively, whether you a Jedi or a Sith Lord. It's time to expose some of these secrets. They already out there. We just have to change this and this. Satnam, only the name of God is true. Any questions? Always, alhamdulillah. Bismillah, we thank you, brother. Assalamu alaikum, we thank you. Alhamdulillah, Sheikh. Thank you. Fall, y'all, fall. Thank you. Get a Jeff. Assalamu alaikum. We got to put in that work, brothers and sisters. That's it. Lamination <laughs> Katimidi Masabaka, Asri Laki Balaki Valadi, Las Ratika Musta Kim Ala Alihi, Aka Kadri Hi or Mikari Aladi Kaya Ain Saw Kufi to Kuluradi Yalahu, be Siri Laila Halalahu, Abli Muradiat Kamawa, who be Siri Laila Halalahu, we are Siri Al Ustra Kamawahu, be Siri Laila Halalahu. Allah, Nabi Mustafi Allah, who Sali be la ilaha la who Salatum looking be summer eye. Be Siri la ilaha in the la who. Swan Rabbi Kubilizatim Yasifon Salamun Mercedin, Hamdulillah, he rap eel alamin. Barkishik Sufi Ba, 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 Amin, Aslam Lake Matula, to the family. Save love, protect you, inshallah. See you Sorry. next time. Dr. Jeff, so I'm like, stop, stop. Wa alaikum as-salam. 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 Wa alaikum as-salam.